Hello everyone and welcome to my video where I take a look around Cadbury World to see what it has to offer. Now I've always been intrigued by Cadbury World but never actually gone up until this point. It's always been on my doorstep uh, so one Sunday afternoon I wanted to visit and see what it's all about. So you can book online which is quite easy enough to do. You do get various time slots as well um, so quite a lot to choose from even when you're actually booking on the day because that's what I did and uh, I was still able to get a slot. When you get to the end of the queue and you scan your ticket you are given a couple of free chocolate bars and the option to purchase a little bag as well to put them in. What you would have seen in the first couple of clips is Cabri World giving you information through variant different ways and that's through interactive clips. Um, one you'll see on the video now is a little short clips of them explaining a bit of the history behind the chocolate which I thought was quite good. You come in into a room here where it's just got a different feel to it. I kind of like that option as well. There are two rooms where you get to almost be shut in and it have be like a cinema and different ways again, informative ways to be able to show you sort of history of the chocolate and how it became. Also, it gives you the sensory options as well where you get the seats to shake and again smells coming through in the rooms and that is when it tells you kind of how the 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 cocoa um, bean is actually then makes and added to the pasteurized milk to then make the chocolate so again i find that really really interesting to be able to see and you'll see like the room just here on the screen it's not something that I want to go over too much into the kind of how it's made or the history of how the chocolates come about so forth because it's always worth going to have a look and actually seeing this information for yourself. Um, certainly I found it quite interesting and took away quite a few points in regards to Cadbury's chocolate. You then get taken into a room like this. It gives you a couple of options essentially where it will... Um, let you either watch how an easter egg's made or buttons or cream eggs that sort of thing and it will take you through the process on a little screen so you'll be able to watch that as well which I thought was brilliant because again you get to see the machines and how they work. When you walk from room to room the corridors are full of information showing you products that you may not have seen before which bring back nostalgia and memories thinking that that's the product that you should bring back. This room here is then showing you the machinery of how the chocolate was mixed as well. So again, a lot of interactive uh, ways of trying to learn the process and history of Cadbury's chocolate. This corridor in particular actually tells you about the Cadbury's angels. You see all the, the artwork everywhere on these walls. This is one where I stopped to have a look at myself to take in the history personally um, and see how they, they came about to be the Cadbury's angels. Cadbury's World Author offers you some interactive workshops where you can have a play with the chocolate. This workshop here that I was able to take a look at, I had a lady show me how I how I can work with the chocolate on a process called tampering, um, which was also quite fun as well to be able to play with the chocolate and learn the processes that the chocolate has to go through before it even becomes a bar of chocolate. So again, well worth having a look at. I certainly enjoyed uh, the workshop here and it's it's great to be involved in it and then you look around as well to other workshops where you see a lot of people getting involved in writing either their names or doing a little doodle on a workbench with liquid chocolate and that's pretty fun as well and um, you see a lot of people doing it so of course i had to have a go of course i did so yeah it was pretty generic in terms of what I did having a go at working with the liquid chocolate to see what I could create on this workbench.
and my partner Matt was with me at the time so it's quite funny actually because he was doing the recording while I was having a go at some of these workshops and getting involved so he had no idea what I was going to write at this point so it's quite funny to uh, see his face when I reveal the finished product if you like and you can just imagine his face right when I do the big reveal and he's just like hey and it's facts so you know of course he loves me but I'm sure he'll be pleased to know that it's not like it's permanently there on the work benches of Cadbury World they do actually get rid of it once the bench is full then they will then scrape the chocolate back off and um, give the workbench a good clean and then reset it for other people to come and have a go so you do get to go on a car ride as well not quite Willy Wonka's chocolate factory but all the same you go through this area here on a little ride and it does tell you another story and perspective of Cabri world which again I think is pretty cool especially if you have young children where you're taking around Cabri world because again it's another way of trying to get information across in an interactive way and of course children do like rides. Now everyone's got to like this stage where you actually get to taste the chocolate unless obviously like you're allergic for whatever reason or you can't simply eat the chocolate. Um, there would be many people out there for sure that would probably say that's their favourite bit. Um, very good. I got to have like two toppings with liquid chocolate. That was quite nice to have a taste and, and walk around as I'm going through different areas. So again, very nice to be able to sample the chocolate while you're there. So besides tasting the chocolate, which is one of my favourites, this has to be up there with, again, um, a top part of visiting Cadbury World where you get to see the adverts over time that Cadbury's have released. Uh, I love the graphics and I loved seeing all these adverts because you forget what they do. But when you see it, you kind of think, oh, I forgot they did that advert. Um, so it's really nice to be able to see these old graphics and adverts. This one particular, when it was advertising the Crunchy advert, and um, they're on the roller coaster and they're going down and it's saying, I'm so excited, um, which I won't sing any longer. But yeah, that's a, um, a memory and an advert that you know, always sticks in my head when I think of Cadbury's. And again, there was many other graphics and adverts that you get to see as well. So very, very good indeed. Um, like I said, one of my most enjoyable parts, especially on that nostalgia and memories where you look back at, over time of what Cadbury's have achieved. And of course, when you look on the screen, you've got the famous gorilla banging his drums, singing along to the Phil Collins song, which I'm not going to sing, you'll be pleased to know. But again, that's up there in terms of one of the big adverts um, that Cadbury has brought out. And then you can conclude the tour by taking a look outside where you've got a couple of eating places and a ride to check out as well. So make sure you go down there and have a look. And as always, if you have liked this video, please do hit the thumbs up, also subscribe and share away. Check out my other content and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.